What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to do a WordPress website backup using the Updraft Plus WordPress Backup plugin. This is the most loved and used WordPress backup tool and you can download it on wordpress.org. It has over than 2 million websites using it and it's always good to have a website backup a safe point, a safe checking, so you can go back in the case that something happens in the process of some update or changes in the server or in the website. The first step is go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, so we can install the plugin. In the search field, we're gonna type updraft and we're gonna be installing the very first plugin that appears, Updraft Plus WordPress Backup Plugin by David Anderson. As soon as we install the plugin, we're gonna click on activate button. And automatically, the plugin gonna lead you to the tutorial page. Just click on press here to start button. And we're gonna move to the WordPress settings in the page of the Updraft Plus plugin. The very first thing is do your first backup. We're gonna do that later, but click on next. Now you're gonna see another option, another part of the plugin settings. So you can choose you can choose where to upload backups in the case that you want to upload in some service like FTP, Dropbox, Google Drive. And of course the plugin has his own solution. You can save your chains, you can shadow in the backup like in a calendar in agenda of course the plugin do has a premium version that you can subscribe but we're gonna be using the free one once we are good with those settings and our website it's not too big You can check and change every setting of the plugin. For example, the file backup shadow, the base data backup shadow, where you're gonna to upload it. Include files in the backup. Make sure that you do select everything so you can have a backup of every part of your website. There are some useful links for tutorials and for the plugin documentation in the plugin settings. But by now, we're gonna be clicking to backup now. So we can create our first backup. The time that takes to run the backup and generate the file so you can download it used to change according to the server speed and the size of the site, of course. The number of plugins, themes, media contents, but used to take something like 5 or 10 minutes. You can check the log so you can see what the plugin is doing and backing up and even download the log file. The backup now is complete. 
And if you scroll down, you're gonna see the files. You can click in these files to download. You can restore your site to this point. You can load this backup. You can even delete or view the log. I do recommend that you delete the backup files if you're gonna do a new one. After you complete the new one, you're gonna delete the second. So you do not need to occupy a lot of server space. Once, as you cannot see, it's, one, it's almost like one gigabyte of size from the backup. It's always good to download the backup files in your local computer, even if you're gonna upload those files in Google Drive, like the plugin options of Fierce. So you can have two options for each backup and have the double of the security to the process. You need to download the files separately by clicking on the files. For example, if you click on base data, Click on download to your computer and do the same with each of those earrings, plugins, themes, uploads and others. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best!